today in this lecture from department of computer science and engineering sagar institute of research and technology excellence bhopal we will study database management system and especially sql commands as there are many different commands in the sql in order to do the database programming but specifically this lecture is made to clear your basics so let's start first of all whatever the data you are going to store in the dbms is stored in the form of tables so first let's understand how you can create the table this is the basic syntax for creating the table the full form of sql is here structured query language it is a kind of query language where a specific structure is to be followed in order to create anything so suppose we want to create a table then what kind of syntax is to be followed first you can see here create table command create table command uses the parameter called table name this is the name of the table that you need to write and it is up to the user whatever name the user want to give column 1 and the data type whatever the column you want to keep for the table you can write it down here column 1 and the data type data type means whatever the type of data you want to store it can be the integer it can be the character it can be the other types of the data and so on column 1 column 2 column 3 and then semicolon so this is the structure that need to be follow when you are doing sql command the column parameters specify the name of the column of the table whatever the column you want to keep in the table you have to specify here with the help of columns like the data type parameter specify the types of data and the column can hold so this is all about the create table command now let's proceed for the running of this particular command how you can run this command you can run it either on the oracle or you can use any online compilers here i am using my compiler dot io it is a kind of compiler that provide you the facility to run any sql command as you can see in the create table we have studied you have to write down the table name so here student is the name of the table that we are using for creating the table id integer whatever the column name that you want to give here three columns are used one is called id another is called name and another is gender and the type of data or the data type that you want to enter it for like text name should be in the text and it should not be the null not null means you are specifying here that the value of the name should be there and you can't keep value null the gender gender is not null you have it is also the text type and id integer id means it can be the your roll number like your enrollment number that contain the integer value and the character value that's why we have taken here integer and it should be the primary key we will study the primary key concept in the further lectures now insert some values now how you can insert the value in the create table command we have studied the create table command and we have created the table but how you can enter the value this is the way by which you can enter the value you can input the value in the given table like insert into students so insert into values this is the specified structure of the sql command insert into values and student where you want to insert the values in the student table and values will be you have to specify the values according to the taken column name like here we have taken the column name id then name then gender so we have entered the value column name 1 id as id 1 name as ran and gender as male so kindly note here if you are taking text data type then you have to mark single quotes here in order to execute the command 
while if you are taking any integer type of the data type then it is not necessary that you should use single quotes here so you need to be keep in mind that whenever you are taking any text kind of a data type then single quotes are needed similarly now how you can fetch the values whatever the values that you have entered now how you can fetch the values here i am showing you you can simply copy it you can simply paste it and you can simply change the values whatever the value you want to enter like you want to keep the name and this way the three values are entered here now you can get the values select some values but some condition is there like select star star means you have to select all the values select star from where you have to write down the name of the table so student is the name of the table and where means where where means a conditional search statement that in from which column you want to search like where you want to search where gender should be f means where the gender the value of the gender should be female you can change it here you can write it down here male also now we are going to run this program in my compiler.io and how the output will get you can see here now the value this is the output where this particular output shows you that it searches all the tables and specifically given the value where gender is m and in the table you can see that the value of f f is not given while the value of m is given let's try let's copy it and try with some another name and see what will happen like we have given the value ram then you can give male also i am just want to show that how the value will get changed and then four simple the id will be the four now i am going to run it again and definitely we are getting some different result here as you can see the result like there are one value in the previous running while in the second running we are getting two values one and four why we are getting one and four because the gender value should be m and we have just entered the gender value m here and that's why we are getting m two row as a result so this is all about the create table thank you thank you so much